Here's a question. How am I to know who to listen to online when there's so much content and information that everyone has something to say? Now, I have an interesting question. Why are you asking me? Maybe I'm part of the, <laughs> maybe I'm part of the problem. Maybe I'm part of the so much content and information that everyone has something to say. It's a great question. And um, the answer to that question is you have to have discrimination. You have to learn how to decide what you value, what's true, what's real to you. And if you're not sure, you should get advice. You should ask other people. Um, earlier this evening, I addressed the question of reading Sifri Musr from other movements outside of Chabad and this kind of thing. And the conversation revolved around the idea that a person has to have one path, a person has to have one derech, and you can't just listen to everybody and hear all things. It'll just confuse you and overwhelm you, and you'll discover from what's called information overload. You know, in the olden days, people didn't know anything. Now we know too much. And who's really smarter? I mean, we're certainly more intelligent. But who's more capable of living a meaningful life? People with less information? Or us who have so much information? And I'm not sure the answer is us. I'm really not. Because information is only valuable if you have the wisdom to discriminate within that body of information. And the d discrimination is also a skill that has to be taught. And the discrimination necessary to decide what to listen to and what to follow and what not listen to or what I may listen to but I will not follow comes from integrity and comes from depth. It doesn't come from being smart. It doesn't have come from knowing how to Google. It comes from having teachers who teach you what life itself is. And I think that's important. You need to have a rav. We all need to have a rav. A teacher, a mashpia, who can keep us in the straight and out, give us our direction. We trust them and we're willing to follow their lead in terms of directing us in our lives. And they can help us figure out where we should give our time and our ear and what we listen to. And specifically how to separate the material that we listen to to learn and understand from the material that we listen to and learn and understand and to actually do. I think it's very, very difficult to do that as a, on your own, as a self-made person, unless you were gifted by Hashem with depth and with wisdom, which is unusual, and then you have your innate ability to discriminate, to figure out how to know what's real and what's not real.